As the good has been released, it includes great modules that will be very useful in your design practice. The first module is biaxial wood column, multi-span continuous wood beam, and the third module is wood bearing wall exposed to wind pressure, the typical condition in exterior walls in uh, wood buildings. This is Javier Encinas, and today we're going to review the most important features in this new package as the wood. Let's get started. The package allows to work in three different system of units. US units, keep, feet, inches, KSI. SI units, metric, it kilonewtons, meters, centimeters, or megapascals. Or MKS units, tons, meters, centimeters, or kilograms per centimeter square. I have created some examples to illustrate this new package. Let's open an example of columns. This is a template for a wood column design in ASDIP wood. In all the packages, you can specify either sun lumber, glue laminated, or composite engineer sections. You simply select the type of material, just clicking on the buttons, this is glue laminated. For composite, this section, this feature is not available yet, but will be available shortly. In this example, the column type is sun lumber. Here you select either southern pine or western species. In this case, it's southern pine. The program includes a set of databases from NDS. Just click on this button. And the database shows up with the corresponding table. This is the table 1B. Here you select the section that you are interested in. And when you click select, that section with the, all the properties will be transferred to the template in as they would. In this case, this is a nine feet high column. The effective length K factors are one and one in both directions, but the section is two by six. If we go to materials, here you specify the species and the grade of the material. You, there are two options, either using the database or you can select a user defined option. In this case, you enter your own properties. But in this example, we will use the select from database. The corresponding table from uh, NDS will show up. In this case, it's table 4B. Here, you can select also the material you are interested in. When you click select, all the material properties will be transferred to the template. In this case, it's Southern Pine number one. At the bottom, there are some options that will affect the uh, adjustment factors repetitive member or incised lumber, the moisture content, and the temperature. If we go to the loads tab, here we specify the loads on the column. Here you enter an actual load P, also a uniform lateral load, and a concentrated lateral load at mid-span. The design can be either ASD or LRFD. In this case, we have an actual load of 550 pounds, actual, and then we don't have light, but we have snow load, 840 pounds axial, and also we have wind, 100 PLF lateral pressure. In the right pane, in the at a glance tab, you can see a summary of the results. Here are the adjusted design values, then the slenderness condition, the combined stresses per the N NDS. We can see that in this case, there are several deficiencies in, in the design. In particular, the compression stress, which is 168, is larger than the allowable stress, F prime C, 91. So we can see the combined stresses, the maximum ratio is 3.4, which is more than one. So the design is not acceptable. If we go to the condensed tab, we can see a more detailed set of calculations. First of all, the slenderness ratio is 72, which is more than 50. So the design is not acceptable. Here are all the applicable adjustment factors for the controlling load combination, dead plus snow. Then the adjusted design values. And finally, the combined stresses. Here are the bearing stresses. If we go to the detail tab, this is a more detailed set of calculations. Here are the calculated section properties for this nominal size. Then the reference design values for Southern Pine number one. Then all the adjustment factors with all the references to the NDS code. And finally, the adjusted design values for this load combination, dead plus snow. 
Then these values are used to check the tension, compression, bending, shear, and combined stresses. If we go to the diagrams tab, we can see the interaction diagram between moment and actual load compression. This point represents some of the loads. Some other loads are beyond the graph. So in this case, we would need to go back and change the size of the member to comply with the design stresses. Let's go back to the next example for a wood beam. This is a glue laminated section, southern pine. The size is 5.1 to 27.5 inches. It's a 32 feet span, one span. Both ends are pinned. If we go to the materials tab, for this combination symbol and this species, these are the reference design values according to the NDS database, table 5A. We go to the loads tab. This design is per ASD and it includes some concentrated loads, four keep each at 0, 8, 16, 24, and 32 feet. Graphically, we can see the beam elevation here with all these concentrated loads. This is the shear diagram and this is the moment diagram for this beam. We go to our glance tab. We can see a summary of the results where we can see immediately if everything is passing or if something is, is failing. In this case, everything is passing, no issues. The maximum deflection is 0.66. The maximum bending stress is 0.60. And the maximum shear stress is 0.28. So everything is passing. If we go to the condensed tab, some more detailed set of calculations, uh, group by topic and per load combination. So the support reactions, then the shear forces. The shear forces are compared to the shear strength per load combination, everything is passing. Then the bending moments along the, the beam compared to the bending strength, everything is passing as well for these load combinations. Then the maximum deflections, these are the design codes, NDS 2018, then the deflections, and then the load combinations applicable to this design. We go to the detail tab, there's a more detailed set of calculations, step by step and with references to the NDS code. These are the calculated section properties for this nominal size. Then the reference design values from the database for this combination symbol and this species. Then the calculation of the adjustment factors for the combination dead plus snow, the controlling. These are the adjusted design values. Then in bending calculations, then the positive bending and negative bending compared to the positive bending strength, and it's okay. The shear calculation, this is the maximum positive shear, maximum negative shear, compared to the corresponding shear strength, and the result is okay. The bearing calculations, and finally the deflection calculations. Graphically, we can see the uh, shear diagram and the moment diagram that we saw before. Let's go back to the project manager. Let's open a calculation for a, a wood bearing wall. This is a sawn lumber stud every 16 inches. The nominal size of the studs is two by six. This is a slenderness information. The clear stud length is 10 feet, five inches. Then the effective K factor is 1.0. Please note that the sheathing provides lateral support for the weak axis of the studs. We go to the materials tab. This is the table 4A in the NDS. And these are the corresponding reference design values from the database. We go to the loads tab. In this case, we have a dead vertical uniform load of 284 PLF and 320 PLF life. Also, we have some wind loads. The wind pressure is 44.5 PSF horizontally. In the Araglance tab, you see a summary of the results, the adjusted design values for uh, the different type of stresses, and the calculation of the combined stresses. Everything is passing in this case. The maximum ratio is 0.49. 
you go to the condensed tab, it's a more detailed set of calculations. Sardion factor loads. The maximum slenderness for this wall is 23, which is less than 50, which is okay. It's the calculation of the adjustment factors and then the adjusted design values. And finally, the calculation of the combined stresses. Everything is passing. We go to the detail tab. These are the calculated section properties for a 2x6 nominal size. Then the reference design values from the database. The calculation of the adjustment factors for this load combination. The design is per LRFD. The calculation of the adjusted design values for this load combination. And then how they are applied to the combined stresses calculation for tension, compression, bending in the strong axis, bending in the weak axis, shear in both axes, and then the combined stresses. Graphically, you go to diagrams. This is the interaction diagram, the axial load versus bending moment. All these points representing the loads are inside the usable area, so the design is acceptable in this case. As you can see, it's very easy to design either columns, beams, or bearing walls using as the wood. The design can be completed and optimized in just a few minutes, that otherwise would take probably hours if you try to do it by hand. If you like the software, please visit the website www.asdeepsoft.com and download the free 15-day trial. Please subscribe to the channel if you want to receive notifications in the future for similar videos. Thank you for your attention.